Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day video. Um, if you don't already know, if you haven't seen my Instagram, I am pregnant with baby number two. So I thought it would be really fun to kind of show you what I'm eating while I'm pregnant. And um, if you like these videos then do let me know and I might carry them on after um, the nine months and everything's up. Um, well actually five months because I'm already four months pregnant. Um, so yeah, today I thought I would show you everything I'm eating. So you'll have already seen, or I'll just show you now, the breakfast that I made. Um, it's now just about lunchtime, but um, I'll go through that in a second. So for breakfast I had a chopped up banana with some yummy blackberries and raspberries and blueberries and strawberries mixed in with um, the almond co collaborative almond milk uh, yogurt, which was actually super tasty. It was the first time I'd had it, so it, that was really really nice. And I sort of mixed that all together, all together with the fruit, and I had um, a sprinkling of chia seeds and flax seeds with goji berries, um, and mixed that all in with some Kellogg's no added sugar granola, which is the plant-based version one, which is um, only sweetened with date syrup, which is super tasty. It's the coconut and cashew, I believe it is. Um, so yeah, so yummy. <laughs> I've got Emily down here, she's just playing with a torch. Um, and then I uh, topped that with some almond butter um, and some sultanas, and it was such a scrummy breakfast. So now it is lunchtime, and I've got some butternut squash soup on the go, so that's just warming up, and um, I'm going to have that with some yummy olive bread. So this is lunch, I've got a lovely olive roll from Waitrose and then I have got uh, some spiced butternut squash soup. So yum for a cold day. So we're just on the way out to hopefully find some photo frames I've got loads of photos of Emily that I really want to put up around the house. And I got a bit thirsty, so Dal very kindly went in and bought me one of these. Which is a coconut and mango drink, which is completely natural. Um, all the ingredients are, are coconut water and mango juice and then it's got a little bit of carbon dioxide, citric acid and mango, uh, more mango. Um, so I've never tried it before and I'm very looking forward, very much looking forward to trying it. Hopefully it'll be super tasty. Um, I try and drink basically just water and if I do have anything when, obviously when I'm pregnant I'll just have a little bit of fruit juice. But generally anyway I don't drink any kind of like soft drinks like Coca-Cola or Pepsi or anything just because I don't like the idea of putting chemicals like that in your body. So anyway, this sounds like a really nice little treat to try that um, sounds super yummy. So I'll let you know what it's like. Taste test. That is actually surprisingly really nice. I'm not usually a fan of coconut water so much, but this, this is something else. It's super tasty. Hi everyone, so it's now dinner time. We had a really lovely afternoon, so we went to um, Home Sense to go and see if we could find some photo frames. Didn't have any luck, so we decided to go swimming, um, which was super fun. Everybody absolutely adores swimming, so it's really good fun. Anyway, now it's dinner time, and we have decided to make a black bean stir fry. And so I have here a tin of, a tin of black beans, and then I've just got this uh, vibrant butternut squash and edamame stir fry mix from Waitrose. Got some ribbon rice noodles and then I've got a mixture of veggies here. So I've got some um, green beans, some sweet corn, pepper, carrot, some mixture of broccoli, both tender stem and normal, some sugar snap peas here and some mushrooms. And then for the sauce I'm going to use some uh, peanut butter, I've got about two and a half tablespoons here and uh, red chilli and two cloves of garlic. I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup in there and some tamari and then like a, a squeeze of lime juice. So I'm probably going to use the whole lime because it's not very big. Um, but yeah, should be a super yummy dinner, really quick and easy. Just wanted something super simple and nutritious for tonight. So I'm going to do about three tablespoons of tamari. One two, three, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to do about a tablespoon of maple syrup. 
then I'm going to give that a mix very carefully without trying to spill the peanut butter. It's quite a um, sticky mix at the moment, but it should be really nice and yummy. You're going to have like, the creaminess from the peanut butter and the tanginess from the lime. And then obviously there's a chilli in there and some sweetness from the maple syrup. So I'm going to give this a really good blend. I can't do it with one hand. So this is the finished masterpiece. <laughs> Hopefully it will be super tasty. So it's got that sort of peanutty, maple, tamari type sauce and I've just topped it with some coriander. So yum. So it was a super yummy dinner. I am so full. <laughs> um, it's been a really lovely day and we're just gonna chill now, watch a film and then go to bed. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new and do let me know if you want me to make some more videos like this um, in the comments section below. And please turn on the notifications bell um, if you want to get notified of any future videos that I might be uploading. Um, but for now, I hope you have a good rest of your evening or day or whatever you're doing and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>